Hi everyone, how's everyone doing here today? Thank you for watching. And on and off, there's been a lot of coverage about a possible and sadly an inevitable government shutdown, okay? Because of, you know, Kevin McCarthy is just not capable of doing his job, he's pretty inept. And you've got, you know, lunatics on the far right, like Matt Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greene, who, you know, deep down, I really think they just want to shut the government down. You know, for two reasons. One, just because they can, because they're spiteful, and they don't care about the people. But the other one, it gives them some talking point, like, look, there was a government shutdown under Joe Biden. Now, uh, does Biden get some accountability for that? Yes, but there's a big distinction between, you know, from what I'm seeing now, from what I remember, when there were two shutdowns under the Trump administration. And the one, I don't remember the first one, but I remember the second one where, you know, Trump was just talking in his typical ignorant, arrogant, cocky fashion where he was going to, he decided, okay, we're going to shut the government down, you know, because supposedly they can't come to an agreement. And I think the Democrats side did that in good faith. It's been when you have Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi. Now, some of you might agree. That's fine. And I don't mind hearing your comments about that. But as far as the here and now goes, Joe Biden does not want a government shutdown. Okay? I think most Americans don't want a government shutdown. Uh, a shutdown wouldn't necessarily impact me directly, but it would impact a lot of other people. And that's the thing I've always had a problem with shutdowns in general. The people that cause it or that are responsible for it don't feel the pinch. They, you know, they they still get their salaries, they still have everything, and I don't fully understand why that is, like, why, um, I don't know. To me, I would imagine there's got to be some kind of loophole. Now, here's where, you know, I'm not that knowledgeable in it, I'll admit, so I might be a little off base, but I wish that there was some way there could be a loophole where, you know, the uh, lower end uh, federal employees, you know, the ones that aren't making 60, six figures a year, you know, that only have like a small salary, they should still be allowed to work. They should still get paid, even though the government shut down. I know that doesn't make sense. That's why I might be off base here. However, you know what I think should really feel the pinch are the ones that are causing it, you know, like Kevin McCarthy for, you know, being incompetent, like Matt Gates for being spiteful, like Marjorie Taylor Greene. Where she said in a recent speech, like, she's going to shut it all down and this and that and any bills they propose, she's just going to shoot them all down. She's not doing her job. She's not doing it in any good faith or looking for a solution. You know, she just wants to be the spiteful bitch that she is and, you know, let other people, uh, you know, take the hit for it. Other people suffer for it. And there's a way these two these two parties can work together and come up with a budget that works. It's just what you don't deal with, you don't agree with Ukraine. Okay, fine. Come up with come up with a better solution. Don't just say shoot it all down. Say maybe there's a way we can work together here. Find the solution. But I don't think that I don't think that's happening. Like I said, I think some of these people want a shutdown. And if that were to happen, if like I would say okay. Gates, Green, you two want to shut the government down? Fine, we're going to do it. During that time, you two do not get paid at all. You got health care benefits, you don't get those either. And if it lasts a week, well then you go a week without pay. All right? And when the uh, government is reopened, they don't get that payback. No. That's the price you pay for your stubbornness. That's the price you pay for unwilling to, you know, work with the other party. That's the price you pay for just being the vile, spiteful people that you are. And if it lasts a month, well then, they don't get paid for a whole month. They can't pay their bills, well then, you have to dabble in your savings. You don't have savings, well then, you better get your credit card. You don't have a credit card, well then, you better find a way to do some serious budgeting. Why should other federal employees have to suffer because of their spitefulness? You know, I... I don't get it. I don't understand it. And, you know, you would think there would be some safeguard in place to, like, just a bare minimum to keep the government open. But no, like, this is the type of system we have. I don't get it. I probably never will get it. And I know I'm going to get some criticism over that. But, you know, I'm thinking about the people that 
didn't do anything wrong that are going to suffer for it. Those are the ones I'm concerned for. Not the politicians that, you know, that for the most part aren't doing their jobs. They're not doing their jobs. You have plenty of time to come up with a budget. You know, Kevin McCarthy, you know, you want to be, you know, the Speaker of the House. And unfortunately, you had to compromise to do it. And, you know, you made your deal with these sycophants, this MAGA, you know, lunatics. This is what you get. I don't know what's going to happen to McCarthy. And, you know, sadly, if there's a shutdown, I don't know how long it's going to last. It just, you know, it just, again, it just blows my mind that we're at another here we go again. You know, that they never learn. They, like, really never learn. You know. And I got news for you. You know, for those who are going to say, you're going to criticize me, that's fine. But if the Democrats were doing this, the people on the right, Fox, the MAGA crowd, oh, they'd be, going, they'd be having a meltdown, you know. <sighs> Let's cross our fingers and hope for the better, okay? Thank you for watching. I really hope you understand.